in this video we are going to learn how to create section views for cross sections in civil 3d in the proper manner uh, on my screen i have a alignment and then i have a corridor and i have created some sample lines in this uh, corridor uh, to create section views so uh, i am going to explain you a process how to uh, get a cross section view proper cross section view or section view from civil 3d uh, in this process we are assuming that we are cre uh, printing or plotting this section view in a a3 sheet or in one a3 sheet we will plot one section view so before that we need to identify what is the sample line width maximum sample line width here to do that i'll select a sample line then go to group properties and i will hover through these sample lines to check what is the maximum width here currently you can see the maximum width is or maximum or minimum we have constant width here it is 10 meter for each side so for both sides you have 20 meter offsets so this is how you should uh, do this work now to create section views in a proper manner so i told you we are going to plot one section view in one a3 sheet so then you need to identify what is the scale you have to use to do this work or to plot this section view so to do that i will going to create a polyline the length of the polyline is currently the length of the sample line is so the total width of the sample line is 20 meters 10 meter either side so i will create a polyline which has a length of 30 meters so i will turn on uh, auto mode by pressing f8 key then i will type 30 meter here then press enter so you will have i have a 30 meter length polyline here then what I should do is I will create a rectangle that has the uh, parameters of a A3 sheet. So to do that I go to this rectangle creation tool then click here then I click here where I will start the rectangle then I go from dimension from here D then my rectangle have A3 sheet parameters that is 420 millimeters and 297 millimeters so in meters it is 0.42 then 0.297 so i get this uh, rectangle here so i click here to get that one let us say when we are plotting our section view or cross section in here we will have a 10 millimeter offset from each side of the uh, edge of the uh, paper so to, to get this 10 millimeter offset i will offset 0 0.01 or 10 millimeter to inside now this is where we plot the uh, section view now what i going to but what i do is i select both of these and i'll move this from this inside point and i will turn off the object snap for the moment by pressing F8 or not object snap but the auto mode and I will place this at the edge here then what I do is I scale this one I select both these rectangles then press SC to go to scale then my uh, base point is here and I will increase the scale until I come somewhere close to here now you can see this scale is around uh, 71 so you if you can't see this one you can turn on uh, dynamic mode by pressing f12 on your keyboard so it will turn on the dynamic mode now currently this scale is around 71 uh, usually you have uh, 1 is to 75 scale in this uh, scale list so i will type this scale as 75 so now this is the scale we need to 
have the uh, section view to get one section view inside one uh, a3 sheet so now i going i am going to go i am going to the section view creation go to multiple views create multiple views then i just click next here you can see you have to set up a template cross section template or section view template so first we we have to create this template 1 is to 75 template here so now i am going to tell you how to create that template so i close this one then i go here then go to new and from here i will create a template from metric with no template then i come to the now I, my new drawing is open then i come to layout tab and i will rename this a3 1 is to 75 scale right now my uh, plot sheet size is a3 paper so what i do here here is i go to page setup manager right click here and go to page setup manager then i go to modify this one and i change this paper size to a3 and click ok then you if you need you can uh, set up the plot setup here also but i am not going to do that at the moment i will just set this to a3 and click ok then your uh, view becomes for a a3 now what i do is i will create a rectangle that has a a3 size here so i again i go here and this is the this corner is 0 0 0 point so i will start my uh, rectangle at 0 0 0 then i will close this one with the a3 dimension that means this time i have to type in millimeters which i should be 422 297 and i click here now i get the a3 sheet here then what i what we did was he had a 10 millimeter offset for the plot area so i offset 10 millimeter inside now this is where we plot plot the section view but uh, to plot the section view we need to have a viewport currently we have one viewport here so we have to place this viewport inside this plot area so you can if you like you can set this viewport up to this whole area but it's better to uh, place it somewhere here so currently it is a snap into the end to get these edges i will shift right click press while pressing shift key i'll right click then go to nearest i will click somewhere here so it will let you insert your a title block in this area so now what we do is i'll select this viewport then right click and go to properties and i will set up my scale here it is 1 is to 75 currently it is not here so let us say we will go to 1 is to 100 instead of 75 i am going to 1 is to 100 uh, that is also okay right so now i have set my scale here so then i lock this one then i save this as a template file so to do that i go here and go to save as drawing template so i will save it inside in pwt go to plan production let us say uh, cs uh, let us say it is uh, section 1 is to 60 sorry 1 is to 100 scale and i click save here and also i need to do some modification here it, i will i change it as 1 is to 100 scale here also 
one thing I forgot was I have to set this viewport to section. So I select this viewport, then go to properties and select this as section. So now it is a section template. So, right. Now I go to multiple section views. Go to next. And from here, and production, I go to. Now you can see my layout is here. I click OK. Then I click next. Again, I will accept these default parameters and this one also I will accept the default one automatic one and I have the sample sources here so I'm not going to change this anything I directly go to create section views it is asking where I need to place the section views I will place it somewhere here now you can see my section views are correctly positioned inside this viewport you can see here if you need you can modify the locations uh, in my on my civil 3d video series i have explained how to change this location in a uh, viewport within civil 3d in a separate video you can watch that one so this is how to uh, properly create uh, section views within a, uh, a tree sheet in this case but if you need some other sheet size you can adjust the parameters and make them uh, visual inside in your sheet area so if you need two sections inside a sheet area you have to uh, calculate how to get that uh, parameters uh, it is same as i did for uh, it is same it is the same way i did for scaling for one sheet you have to scale it for two sheets so that is how to uh, properly create cross sections uh, because if you don't create this properly sometimes you will end up with all the section views inside one viewport or something like that you have you are facing those kind of problems but if you go with this way you will not finding any difficulties when creating section views in this way it is also very easy to plot the section views as well so that is how to create properly create section views uh, using section sheets using uh, section uh, multiple section view creation in civil 3d